as they say, you get what you pay for. Hey everybody, Jay Sallon here. Welcome back to the channel. So a couple days ago, I started to do a review on this guitar here. This is a uh, Wild Audio Blood Eagle uh, mahogany sort of, I don't know how to describe the uh, body style, but it's made by Schechter uh, in cooperation with Zach Wild's company, Wild Audio. And when I got to the part where I was doing the uh, audio examples, I could not get this guitar to sound like it was in tune, despite the tuner saying that each of the strings were in tune. Because it's in tune. I mean, it's according to the tuner, it's in tune. So I don't know why I'm always out of tune when I play. kind of out of tune but those are open chords so it could be the intonation on it so uh, and so usually that will mean that your guitar is not intonated correctly and so I checked the intonation I checked the tuning at the 12th fret and sure enough all of the strings were sharp and for some reason it always seems like uh, if a guitar is out of intonation that it's sharp I've I've hardly ever seen a guitar I don't think I've ever seen a guitar where the strings were flat uh, when it wasn't intonated correctly so I don't know if that has something to do with the the way they set it up at the factory but it seems like every brand new guitar that I've bought that needed intonation the intonation was sharp so anyway uh, I hear the comment that you get what you pay for or that if you buy cheap you buy twice and that if you spend a decent amount of money on a guitar, a lot of what you're paying for is set up. I see that in the comments all the time, and that's how a lot of people justify higher costs for uh, certain guitars. And I want to tell you that this guitar, this is a brand new uh, guitar. This was, uh, I traded for this uh, a bunch of audio gear. Uh, to my friend Tony that has the guitar shop. You've probably heard me mention him before. And he's a rep for uh, Schechter. And this was uh, this is a brand new uh, guitar, but it was on the shelf at his store. And uh, so I decided that rather than try to sell a bunch of audio gear through Reverb, big boxes and a lot of shipping costs that I'd trade for this guitar, do a review on it since it was it's not a strat it's finally i'm reviewing something that's not a strat and uh it would be way easier to box up and sell and in fact this guitar has already sold on reverb and i'm not going to tell you what i sold it for because i really took a bath on it <laughs> but <laughs> uh you could probably look it up if you if you really wanted to anyway so these this guitar retails for about fifteen hundred dollars uh, through Schecter and so you would expect that a $1,500 guitar would at least be set up properly I mean the string height on this is pretty high uh, and the intonation is off so rather than continue to edit the video that I did uh, about this guitar I'm going to uh, set it up properly so that uh, I can do an proper audio example we'll run through the specs and everything and then that way my customer on reverb will get a guitar that is going to stay in, you know be in tune and be able to play and that the action will be uh, set up on it pretty good and so let's get started okay so I'm down here in the, this is the workbench that I have next to my studio in the basement uh, the one out in the garage is kind of cluttered up right now so I got this sitting on the bench so I'm just going to do a quick setup on it I'm not going to run through all the stuff on how to do it I already did a video on that but I'll do it real quick time lapse on how to set it all up so we'll get it set up so that it sounds decent and then we'll tune it up and do an audio example and then we'll cover specs and everything and then this guitar should be good to go
Okay, so <laughs> I wanted to point out a couple more things here before uh, I get too far into this. Uh, one thing I wanted to do before I set the intonation and, and tighten the strings back down was to uh, check uh, the neck because when I had done the review on it, the neck uh, seemed like it had quite a bow to it, uh, you know, this way. And uh, so I uh, checked it with the, you know, the fret, this thing here, so you can place it right on the uh, neck without the frets sort of interfering with the checking the fretboard is level and there's quite a gap down there let's see if i can uh show it to you uh, there you go you can see that one there let's look at the gap there i mean there's a lot of daylight in there so yeah so we'll have to adjust uh the truss rod as well so taking Take in mind, this is a $1,400 guitar. Uh, shouldn't have to be doing any of this stuff. Okay, so I got the truss rod uh, adjusted. Uh, and this was uh, just a regular Allen wrench type uh, adjustment. And the, let me see if I can get this around here so you can see it. And then it just goes in that, uh, you know, in the hole there, there's an Allen head in there. If you could see that. And uh, yeah, so I had to turn it, uh, this would be clockwise to the, this would be clockwise uh, as you're looking down the, down the, you know, the head of that uh, Allen bolt, I guess you could say. So now it's, it's pretty flat. If you, if you look, there's no, there's no light okay so that's good so now the neck and in the, the string uh tension sh should put a little bit of ever so slight amount of relief in it uh, once you get it tuned up and the strings tighten on there then you can adjust that if you need some relief on there i usually don't do that on my guitars uh, they're usually pretty flat so uh, anyway there you go that at least got that problem solved All right, so I uh, got it all set up. Um, it was pretty easy. Actually, once I checked, <laughs> once I fixed the, uh, the neck relief on it, the intonation was a lot closer because um, it was really, really off. I mean, it was, it was probably by maybe 15, 20 cents off uh, on each string. And uh, when I changed the neck relief on it, it was a lot closer. A couple strings I didn't even have to mess with. So, <laughs> wow. Okay, so uh, anyway, yeah. Um, so I'll put the pickup height back kind of where it was, and we'll take it back into the studio, and we'll do an audio test on it so you can see it, and we'll run through the specs. And this guitar is good to go. Okay, everybody, here we are back in the studio. Finally got the guitar set up so that it actually sounds good. Been playing a little bit and uh, it's way better than it was. So uh, actually to confirm that this was the condition the guitar was in uh, straight out of the box, uh, contacted uh, my friend Tony over at uh, Expedition Music and uh, he confirmed that, uh, that he didn't do any setup on it or anything. That's the way it came out of the box. So the neck, uh, the relief on it was, it was bowed this way. Um, and you could tell when you looked at it through, you know, when you eyeballed it down, down the sights there, you could see that it was, that it was bowed. Uh, and then luckily it's double action truss rod. So I was able to correct that by going, uh, as you're facing the, the, you know, the Allen bolt on the truss rod adjustment, it goes clockwise. And so adjust it a little bit until that, uh, that gauge string or yeah the the level or whatever that goes over the frets was pretty flat and then set of the set the string height on it 
String height is a lot better um, than it was. And that was, like I said, that was straight, straight out of the box. So anyway, let's talk about this guitar real quick. Uh, this is a Schechter guitar um, in cooperation with Wild Audio. That's Zach Wild's company that he created in 2014. Uh, Zach Wild created that company Wild Audio uh, made pedals and amps and things like that, and then must have teamed up with uh, Schechter in order to create uh, some guitars. Uh, so let's go over this real quick. Uh, it's got really nice Grover tuners on it, uh, black Grover tuners. Uh, it says that the fretboard is actually ebony uh, with mother, mother of Pearl, the large Mother of Pearl uh, inlays. Uh, it's a 24.625 inch scale length. Uh, the neck shape is called a Zach. C shape. Um, not sure what that means, but it's it's pretty chunky. It's a little thicker than I think most uh, guitars are, and it's uh, it's uh, it's a pretty nice. It's a smooth C shape. It's not. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Uh, it's pretty comfortable though. Uh, and then the uh, fretboard radius is 12 inches. Got 22 inch extra jumbo frets, and they are extra jumbo. These things are huge. Uh, Graftech Tusk Nut Black, uh, 1.693 inch nut width. So it's almost an inch and three quarter. It's pretty wide, uh, which actually I kind of like. If you've got fat fingers like I do, you appreciate a little more width in that nut. So two-way adjustable truss rod, which we talked about. Uh, the guitar, uh, the body is mahogany. Neck is three-piece. Three pieces of maple. Uh, it's got the angled headstock on it. Um, and then the nice thing is it's got this uh, black, matte black finish on it, but then the edges are exposed in the mahogany. Same with the neck. The neck is, uh, you know, not finished here, not painted anyway. And then the head headstock is painted, but then they did this neat little uh, round, you know, this uh, routered little step there that comes around. That's kind of nice. You can see that. And uh, let's see, what else have we got? Uh, there's no, bi uh, yeah, binding on the heads or the neck as the binding. And then the Satin black hardware, and then the pickups are EMG. The bridge pickup is an EMG 81. Neck pickup is an EMG 85. Uh, it has volume, volume, tone, and a three-way switch. And this one says uh, nine volt battery clip-in battery compartment, but I don't see that anywhere. I don't think these are active pickups, unless it's inside, you know, one of these, which would be weird because Usually you want it accessible. You want it, you know, to be able to pop that open to change the battery. So I don't think these are uh, active pickups. Uh, fit and finish on this guitar is, is pretty nice. There's a little bit of a uh, thing here with the finish. I mean, it's a really flat finish on the neck and they almost like they s s nicked it with the sander there after they have finished it. Um, and then the, some of the, this glue joint here is a little, is a little sloppy. I mean, you can, I mean, it's smooth. You can't really feel it, but you can see it. I mean, the grain, it, they didn't even attempt to match the grain at all. And you can kind of see where it's not a real tight, you know, tight fit. And, uh, same here on this side, the, the wood, the differences in the wood uh, between these pieces is really drastic. So you can definitely see the, the joint there. Um, that would be kind of my only complaint. Uh, the EMG pickups sound really good. So let's uh, play it here a little bit and see what it sounds like. So this is, uh, actually I'm running through a Harley Benton DNA FX GIT uh, effects pedal. Let me 
make sure it's tuned up. I think I'm pretty sure it's tuned, but we'll just double check because I get I get so much criticism for guitars being out of tune. But it's like if you don't take them out of the box, take them to the bench and do setup on them before you play them, especially with brand new strings on them, then you're bound to get a guitar that just won't I mean when I did the first video I that's why I quit I abandoned the first video I did because uh it just it was so bad that it was so out of intonation that I couldn't get it to tune up and it and it just sounded terrible so and I didn't want people to get the wrong impression that that this guitar didn't sound good because it really sounds good Sound better if I knew how to play all that well, but anyway, here's a clean, a little bit of clean tones. Okay, so anyway, the main reason I wanted to talk about this and to show this uh, guitar off is because I do a lot of videos about cheap guitars, cheaper guitars. And, you know, I hear that comment all the time that you, you get what you pay for. You If you buy cheap, you buy twice. Um, if you pay, you know... $2,000 for a Fender American Made, you're paying for the setup. Well, you know, this isn't an American Made uh, guitar. This, these are made in, uh, this one is South Korea. Um, I'm not sure if any of the Schecter brand guitars are made in Germany. Um, you know, but this is not a cheap guitar. This is $1,500, uh, retails for $1,500. Um, so you would expect a guitar like this to come out of the box ready to play and you know it it wasn't i had to i had to do setup on it um you know and so i i don't know I, i'm not sure what to what to say or I'm, I'm sure people will just say oh well it's because it's not made in america um because that's always the the you know the fallback that american made means that everything's going to be perfect so i really really want to get a hold of a made in mexico fender and a made in american you know, USA made Fender, uh, just brand new right out of the box and compare them. Um, I don't have the funds for that right at the moment. So, but I'm going to do it. Maybe, maybe this winter I'll be able to do that and, and get a couple guitars right out of the box and see, uh, how they sound and, and how they compare to each other. But anyway, I just thought this was interesting. I wanted to do a review on something that wasn't a Stratocaster style guitar. And so I, I did. Oh, one thing I wanted to show you too on this guitar is the the balance. The uh, strap button is back here. I usually don't like them there, and I I've kind of complained about that. You know, the strap button in that spot, and I say that the guitar has a tendency to fall forward, and uh, I always like to check. Uh, if there's neck dive and this guitar is perfectly balanced. I mean it really they did a great job of You know And it's comfortable to play actually for for being so big and uh, the, the shape that it is you wouldn't think it was very comfortable, but even sitting down it's it's a comfortable guitar to play. Your elbow actually sort of fits right <laughs> on, that, on that shape. So there was definitely some attention to uh, detail as far as uh, the ergonomics 
of the guitar, which is kind of interesting. So anyway, there you go. That's the Schecter Wild Audio Blood Eagle Mahogany. And uh, it's a neat guitar. Um, um, I don't know, is it worth 1500 bucks? Um, you can get a Firefly right now. They have got some of these shaped uh, guitars for I think 220 bucks. Uh, I might just get one to compare how it, you know, how those sound compared uh, to this. I think the EMG pickups are really nice in it. Um, so yeah, anyway, there you go. Uh, I appreciate everybody tuning in. Well, we've had a lot of comments and uh, viewers on, on the, the latest uh, videos that I've done. And so I really appreciate it. I really appreciate everybody tuning in. And if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. It really helps out the channel. And uh, we'll see you next time here on Jay Allen Guitar.